Hi guys, so I've been obsessing about Cypress performance. Recently, we made the end-to-end -end test so much faster using ESBuild preprocessor. So just that by itself was 10 times improvement for test latency. The goal is that you don't want to see your tests unloading for too much of a time. That's still a problem with component tests because Component tests have to use your application's bundler. This application, Tour of Heroes, from my CCTD book, is using Create React App, and that's taking a while initially to start the test, as you saw. After the first load, it's fine. Uh, it's fine-ish, I guess. So it depends, right? After you run it once, things are better. But, you know, so it's fast. But uh, after the... Initial, it's fine, but the initial load is quite long, right? I'm not a big fan of that. So I thought, how can we make that better? Now, the only way to make that better is to migrate out of your bundler. So if, let's say, we had create React app, um, and that's using Webpack by default, the only way to make your Cypress test more performant initially is by using Vite or something else. So I guess Vite is the primary choice right now when it comes to faster build and bundle types. And let's see how much faster that is. So I'm recording the video so that we can see the time difference. And if I'm not mistaken, a Webpack version of things is about 10 seconds to load. And we'll just try out the Vite version of things. So this is going to be not more than Four seconds. I think this is for sure on there. But, so I think it's about 12 to 12 to four seconds, but we can always see that in the video later. Um, so ES build and it certainly makes things a lot faster for that initial test, right? But I also wanted to see, okay, the local dev experience is better, right? For sure. But how does that compare in the CI, right? So we have two repositories right now. One of them is the original create React app version of things. I'm just going to open things side by side here. Um, so here are the some CI runs from the original repo. So you can see the end to end test taking almost three minutes, and then component test taking about two and a half minutes on average per machine. All right. And then here is the Vite version of the same thing. So let's not look at the total duration because I have not finished setting up just over on the right side, but just compare the, the times for the component tests and the end test. So component tests on average are saving about almost half a minute, right? So about two and a half minutes to lower tools over here. Big improvement, 150 seconds to about 120 seconds, so almost 20% improvement there. And, and 20 tests, about 3 minutes down to, you know, this is 210, 213, 214, 225. Kind of a large, larger improvement on the end-to-end -end test because obviously when you're serving the application in localhost, whatever, like 3000 or 5137, it, it just does it faster, right? So the bigger your application, I think, those gains are going to be faster and it's kind of huge thing. So if we add the, I think the unit test is 106, 45, so that's 20 second difference. The total duration, CI minutes is about 345 to 610. Big, big improvement uh, with CI minutes consumed, but also developer feedback time, right? Like the total duration it takes at the end. So see, 251 plus 2. So it's, yeah, it's about, yeah, six minutes or so, right? But uh, this one, I, I don't get, uh, maybe this is uh, to do with caching, but um, the installation we can analyze separately. I don't think it installs faster because of speed, but for sure, the duration of the component and end to end tests are about 20% better for component tests and almost, I mean, like, 25 to 30 percent better for end to end tests. Of course, that's going to change because what really benefits you is that serving of the application. So, I want to see how that is in scale. That would be interesting. But now let's just look at the 
aspirations. I think that's going to be a good one. So these are public dashboards. One of them is the original CCTDD repo. And the second one is the same repo, um, same application with read. So let's just take a look at something that passed. So we can take a look at this one, specs. Okay. And then I'm not so sure about this third machine. So I want to see, let me see if it's the same way over somewhere else. So because it initially takes a bit, right? This third machine isn't super useful. I think this is a nicer run, right? So with Webpack, we'll see this initial load time over here, right? I, with Antoinette, you're not even seeing that. So it's kind of slow to begin with, but afterwards faster. Of course, Antoine test versus component tests are at a different scale, right? Um, but you definitely see this initial cost in the beginning when using Webpack. So let's take a look at the Vite version of things. So same amount of tests exactly. Um, let's look at this one. I mean, I, we kind of see that initial thing again, but if you look at the durations, we see kind of a kind of a real difference there, right? So 53 seconds with Webpack and 46 seconds with V. So component tests are quite a bit faster. So let's see, no, it's more than 10% obviously, right? I'm sure it's going to change here and there, and we need more data, but you know, just by looking at it, it looks like 15%, of course, parallelization concern, but for sure faster. Uh, let's take a look at the end-to-end -end tests. I think those I expect to be the same, so 57 seconds with end-to-end -end tests. And you know, this time, they did take longer. I don't know why exactly, but again, we need to look at more data. My opinion was that uh, they should be exactly the same. So maybe we can look at a few more examples. Right, so maybe this is a good one. Yeah, one and a half minutes, 33 seconds. So that this is, although this is also a bit, it's kind of interesting that Antoine tests are 126. The components are much less here. And then let's take a look at another one. Over at the webpack version. Okay, I mean, CI fluctuates, but we can always say that the Vitas probably will be faster for component tests. And you know, the Antoine also fluctuates. So, test duration, maybe there is an improvement, uh, but for sure, when we look at the CI minutes, there is a definite improvement over here. Uh, and I think that's because this initial load up time. I mean, we can see component tests. Yeah, it has to be the initial load up time for component tests, and that has to be it. And then for the end to end tests, it has to be the application being served faster. Um, so, an interesting question is okay, let's say you have code coverage set up for your webpack, and if you've been to the CCTD book, there is a addendum section, appendix, combined code coverage. So it talks at length about how do you set up combined code coverage with Cypress component tests and end-to-end -end tests. Kind of uh, elaborate, right? It, it will show you everything there. Lots of plugins, uh, the packages have to be installed. Plenty of things to do with Babel. Okay. There I added a version of things for Vite. So I went ahead and set up code coverage for Vite version of things. Now the main distinctions is that you need a lot less packages for Vite for combined code coverage and then a lot less configuration for instrumentation. And just doing this configuration in the Vite config settings enabled combined code coverage some of the other stuff is exactly the same. But if you're interested, I have the PR and then the repo. 
So that's there too. Um, you can see the key differences here. So the package pinning is nothing important, but read plugin in Istanbul is key. We no need to use Cypress Instrument Crow, obviously, because these settings for read config take care of it. So it's easy, it's doable, it's done. We have it. We have code coverage uh, for read. It's CT and it we at the same time, right? So we can get this one over here and we can see how much the coverage is for C2 and E2E and they're exactly the same as the Webpack version of things. And in fact, we can even think this is, uh, let's see this one. Uh, I think we can, I think this should be public too. I'm pretty sure it's open. And then if we go here, log in with GitHub, log in as me, and then see the version of things here. And then we'll see on main, you'll have full code coverage. So code cov is easy. Um, if you're interested in what does it exactly take for migrating out of Webpack to read. That's always an interesting question. So what you can do is to see everything all at once. You can clone both the repos. And let's say I'm in the read version of the repo. And I like to use this diff folders extension in VS Code. I think it's called diff folders. Yeah, it's just diff folders. Uh, this is a very nice plugin. But if we look at this guy, right? So there is, let's put the read on the right. And then the other one, the webpack version on the left. And just hit compare. And I'm sure we can just delete these coverage folders. But if we compare one on one, right? Here are the exact settings. I'm sure it's going to be a great cheat sheet for anyone when they want to migrate out of Webpack into read. So see, we don't need a lot of the Webpack settings or size CT. Like a lot of that is taken care of. Um, co coverage is basically so much easier, right? But that's my advice to anyone. So before and after, if you're planning to migrate, I had a lot of help from Markman, by the way, doing this. So a huge credit goes to him. Um, but at the end, it's not too much of a heavy lift. Now, what is going to be a blocker for some people is not being able to import ES module. So you can't do something like import everything as that. For instance, let's say you want to stub out feature files, right? You won't be able to do that yet. So this issue, two, two, three, five, five, which Cypress has taken on, is pretty much the only blocker uh, for people that are using Cypress component testing and end-to-end -end testing with Webpack or Get React App from migrating to Vite. So once this is in, once this is delivered, I think anyone can safely migrate from Webpack to Beat. Huge performance gains, much easier code coverage. Uh, of course, we'll look into a bit more what the exact performance gains are, but for sure we see the 20 and 15% improvement in CI. And uh, test duration wise, it's fluctuating, looks like. Uh, and to end, maybe slightly. Longer, but maybe we have to like run these side by side at the same time. It might just depend on the R. Um, but so far, it has solved my issue, right? Because our component has take about a minute initially because of this and that that we can't improve. So I think we can see that come down to like 20 seconds, which will be a huge win. Like right? that's acceptable. That's all. Enjoy Vite and Cypress component testing with it. Later.